Blues Academy. Uh, welcome back, week two, and um, we're going to be taking a look at Johnny Guitar Watson track called You Can't Take It With You. So, without further ado, let's have a look at uh, the guitar. We are in the key of E, and uh, we're looking at an 8 bar blues structure, and it features a 1 6 2 5 uh, progression, which is pretty cool. So, um, the way I like to approach most of the rhythm guitar is kind of like a bassist. So on the one chord, I'll just slide in on the low E string, second fret to the fourth fret, and catching the note of B underneath on the A string. And then we change to the A chord, do the same trick. And then here, it changes from A to A sharp diminished, uh, as is written. I personally, if I was going to play a chord there, I might just play A minor, it has the same effect. But what I do with the bass is I just move from this major idea to the note of C, one fret lower. Okay, and then coming out of that back to the root of E, descending to C sharp, F sharp, B7. I'll play that through all together for you. Okay, the way that I actually play um, the F sharp and the B7 in practice, what I like to do is switch it up. So I'm coming out of this bassy idea on the, on the A chord. And sometimes what I do there is I go from A major and then I hit the open A string and leave that A ringing as an A minor. Again, instead of the A minor, you could play A sharp diminished if you wanted to make it sound jazzier. Or you could play a different A minor voicing. Horses for courses. So coming out of the A section, and then we're gonna do the one, six, two, five chord progression. And what I do here is I hit the E, and then with my index finger from the note of E on my ring finger here, I descend to the first fret, open, landing on C sharp, catch the chord, and then I ditch the bass idea and I switch to high voicing of the F sharp chord. Just a little triad on the second fret, and then sliding up to B7. So to put that together you get... to love to throw in those <laughs> those types of moves so uh, do that at your own discretion um, notice there the turnaround that I used that time one of many uh, is the most simple one is just starting from the note of D all the way down on that B string a little hammer on the third of E Walk up and uh, reference the five chord back to the one. There's so many different ways you can play that. Whichever one sounds best to your ear. You don't have to descend, you could ascend. Just anything you want to do. Okay. Um, so, okay, I think that's the chords uh, for now, and then. There's a solo idea you'll hear on the backing track, of course, we left space for solos, which were not on the original recording, um, so it left it free for us to, to come up with whatever we like. I tried to play two different approaches to the solo from a guitar point of view, referencing still Johnny Guitar Watson's style of playing. So the first one's a bit more um, lyrical and moves around all over the place, using a mixture of, of uh, major, major pentatonic ideas and minor pentatonic ideas and uh, a little bit of chromatic stuff in there. But I'd like to look at the less complex guitar solo, which is the second one, 
And for that, I took an idea that Johnny uh, played on a different track. And on this particular song, whatever key it was in, he just did this move. So if, if we're in the key of E, it would be this. But he played that for the whole solo, just over and over again. He didn't change. <laughs> it's kind of brilliant. Um, so I took that idea and I thought, let's do that, but let's follow the chords, right? So on the E chord, I just do that. E. And then it's going to change to the four chord. So we slide up there. So we're just playing the, the five and the third, the fifth and the third from the chord of A. Just on the B string and the G string. You got me? Like so. And then when it changes to the A sharp diminished, I slide this idea up again to here. And uh, I wasn't really consciously thinking about this at the time, but one thing I noticed is if I were to play an inversion of A sharp diminished, it would land here at the ninth and eighth fret respectively. And those notes are contained within that chord there. So that's quite nice. So we just play those together. Guess where? So all the way up to the octave at the end. And by that point, the, the, it'll be hitting the 1, 6, 2, 5 progression. You can either just continue and land on your root, or descend back home. Okay, so that's a pretty simple way to get around uh, taking a solo. See if you can come up with your own ideas, have fun with it, enjoy, and uh, look forward to seeing you very soon. Thanks very much.